Well, hey there, sassy people. Welcome or welcome back to Mature Sass. Now, if it's your first time coming, my name is Linda. My channel focuses on having fun with style and fashion. Every now and then you'll find some skincare with Mask Monday and some nail tutorials. But today it's all about the last video that I did where I showed some things that I had kind of uh, gathered up and purchased way back like in the summer, July and August. So Sue from Senior Citizen Sue, I'll link her down below, and a few others wanted to see the Talbot's dress that I purchased. So I'll show that. And then Shirley wants me to style the wide leg jeans. They have come in. Actually, they've been here for several days, Shirley. So what I'll probably do is show them today, and then I'll do the styling in a sassy Saturday. How does that sound? But I, I, I distinctly remember telling you guys that was everything that I had purchased. So I am just a little bit offended <laughs> because I saw so many comments down in the comment section saying, uh, we want to see everything that you've, <laughs> that you've purchased since your last video. So guys, you have to remember, I didn't film from like July up to like about what, September? And um, I said that that was what I purchased. You all acted as if you didn't believe me. So I, I, I take offense to that, but um, okay, okay. So I've gotten a few more things. Come on, I'll show you. Okay, <laughs> first of all, I don't even know. I don't even know what to say. I honestly don't. But I want you to keep in mind now, this has been, you know, kind of like a collection of things since July through October. We already know, okay? So, first things first. I... <laughs> I'm going to start with accessories. I didn't even realize I had accessories until I just pulled everything out. So guys, you wanted to see everything I've gotten. You might need to go get yourself a little beverage, a little snack, because it might be a few minutes. Let's start out with these, though. I was in Nordstrom Rack one day, and um, I saw these. Aren't those cute? Now, of course, you know everybody's wearing these little Bottega Veneta inspired earrings. These are the small, um, I think that they're called the pear, even though I think some people have said teardrop. Nordstrom Rack referred to them as pear. So, you can, you can kind of be a, you know, be a part of the trend and you don't have to spend a lot of money. You guys know how I am. These were at Rack for like $11.97. And I've even seen these on Amazon for like 25. They might be bigger though. So those came from Nordstrom Rack. Next, from Nordstrom Rack. Now we all know that I don't need another handbag. We know this, we know. But this is so cute. Isn't that adorable? I like the studs. And the feet are in that same thing. Now this is a BCBG and I'm not going to like stick names and prices and all that on the screen or else we'll be here forever. I'll just put everything down below and if they're still available you'll be able to find them. But it was like 88 bucks and so I love this beautiful cream ivory. I'm all about the tonal looks. I think I told you all. Uh, so like if I'm wearing cream, then I have cream on all over. This was so pretty, but it was $88. So I said to the girl, can you scan this for me? Because you guys know once it goes over to rack, they mark things down. It was something like 34 bucks. I said, let's ring it. <laughs> so I got that one. Then one day I was in Bell's Outlet. And you guys remember this brand called True Religion? Used to be their um, denim. Had this kind of horseshoe look on it. You guys remember that? 
Well, I saw this beautiful chocolate brown. Yes, I have a couple of brown handbags, but this one is so small and cute. And I just, it's very structured and I just fell in love with it. I got it from Bell's Outlet. And of course, it was again under 35 bucks. So then one day I was in Ross and I came across this sling bag. Guys, I have been so in love with these ever since I went to West Virginia and I carried my black one. These are perfect for when you're traveling or, um, you know, on a plane or even when you're going out shopping because everything is, you know, in these zipper compartments and you can put things way down. Everything's right here in front of you. You don't have to worry about anybody being able to slide their hand in. I love this. So the other one I got is black. So when I saw this olive green one for like, I think it was like $14.99, I grabbed it. So that's another bag. And there's one more purse. I have just been so in love with tweed and boucle fabrics and stuff. So I really, when I was in Nordstrom Rack, I saw the cutest tweed handbag by Kurt Geiger. Now, you know, over at Rack, it was still something like $286. <laughs> the structure of it, the, you know, the, you can tell it's quality. It's very structured and squared off. And of course it had his beautiful uh, clasp on it. You guys know I wasn't going to pay almost $300 for that. So I think it retailed for like close to five or $600. And at Rack, it was $286. I just couldn't. Because <laughs> I don't need another purse, period. But it was like in a burgundy hue. I saw this one at Bell's Outlet for less than $30. Bucks, so I picked it up. It is navy and white. Isn't that cute? So with the silver um, chain, I figured, you know, since silver is so hot for this season, I have some silver shoes and um, earrings, necklaces, so I can hook it all up with navy. I actually have a pair of navy pants on here too that I don't know how in the world they jumped in my cart, but I got them from Talbot's. So, oh, speaking of Talbot's, you know what? Let's go ahead and pull this dress out. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna have to go get it. I actually have worn it. So I'll go get the dress. Hold on, guys. Okay, got it. But before we talk about this Talbot's dress, let me go back for a minute. I got sidetracked. I forgot we were still talking about accessories, so let's finish up. All right, so this cognac color, I have been wanting, um, I have one, but it's like a, a, has like a reddish undertone to it. So I found this thin one with gold hardware from Jessica London, and I'll put it down below too, because I wanted a thinner belt because, you know, they're all the rage now. So we, ladies, we have to like kind of partake. Um, we want to look modern, just more updated. My style is classic still, and it's going to always be, but I do like to throw some trends in. Speaking of that, let's just go ahead and curtail over a little bit. You can tell I haven't filmed in a long time because I'm just ping, ping, ping. But you guys know me. You already know it. <laughs> and you love me anyway. That's what I love about you. Um, there was a lady that was talking about Talbots and she was talking about, you know, how their old lady clothes and their frumpy. Well, first of all, this is Talbots that I have on. Do I look frumpy? I don't think so. And I was thinking to myself, First of all, why would you go to Talbots of all places looking for trendy, edgy, you know, kind of out there pieces? They are a Massachusetts based company. You're going to get classic and preppy all day long. And I love it. I'm here for it because the clothes are amazing and you can sass them up. You don't have to look down. But anyway, forget her. I. <laughs> Was I was thinking about <clears throat> a young lady named Orly Shanny. She's the DIY designer. Let me know if you guys are subscribed to her channel. If not, I'll link her down below. But she um, kept, 
can literally duplicate anything. I mean, she has... Can you all hear that? I'm sorry. I think it's the Comcast man backing up. But anyway, um, she can take like a designer blazer that she's seen on the runway or shoes or handbags and she'll go to the thrift store pick up some items bring them back home and show how you can recreate it yourself anyway she had um a little she had a, one video talking about style language and you should always uh develop you know your own style language so i think she said to take something like four words <laughs> my nephew is calling me I'll get back with him. But anyway, um, and I hope that that didn't knock you guys off. She said to take four words and to, to describe yourself and your style and always apply those when you're getting dressed. So I, instead of four, I just took three because as much as I try to casual things down, I just still keep adding things to kind of sass myself up. So my three words are classic, elegant i like a sense of elegance and sassy we've got to put that one in right so classic elegant and sassy you should be able to always see that whenever you see me and my style so develop yourself some style um style words and kind of see every time you get dressed do you see that in your style anyway moving on <laughs> i thought i'd throw that in about talbot since i was talking about it some of you have asked me, where do I find plus size belts? And usually, you know, it's Ashley Stewart or Lane Bryant. However, every now and then, like in Marshalls or TJ Maxx or Ross, you can always find some that are, you know, in with the accessories. I found this one and it's a twofer and it's a good one. I love that. Look at that hardware. This is Calvin Klein and it was $45.00. My price in Ross, $12.99. Guys, you know how I am. And somebody <laughs> deemed me the, what was it, the bargain queen. I gladly wear that crown. I do. I'm all about it. Because you know what? When you put all these things together, you go out and I get compliments every time I go out. Oh, you look so pretty. You look like a million bucks. Thank you. I had to actually go onto YouTube to figure this out. I've never had a reversible belt. Have you guys? It is black on this side, chocolate brown. Yeah, the season's hot color. So <laughs> you just squeeze and pull it down and then you turn it. Now watch me not be able to do it. Yeah, and you turn it around and then it goes on the other side. So I've got a twofer. Uh, oh, hold on. We're not done with the accessories. I can't believe this. Can you? <laughs> I don't know where all this stuff came from. <laughs> hold on. I have two pairs of shoes. Okay. So when I was in Nordstrom Rack and I got that pretty ivory uh, handbag, I saw these. Now, you know, flats are all the rage. And... I think a lot of us that wore those round toe ballet flats years and years ago, we're over it. At least I know I am. But I do love a flat because you guys know with my back hurting and everything, um, I found these. Aren't those cute? And they have kind of like a, a, a crock texture to them. So anyway, these are Circa New York. Never heard of them. They were like 30 bucks, so I picked them up. They are so comfortable. I need to wear them. I've just worn them like around the house to get used to them. They are so comfortable. And then I love loafers, but I can't stand wearing, you know, a closed-in loafer all of the time. I just can't. I have those chunky ones, remember, from Jessica Simpson. So when I want a closed-in one, I'll wear those. But I saw these patent leather ones. They are so cute. Aren't those cute, cute? And I prefer them in a mule. These are so cute. They are by Jones, New York, and I found them at TJ Maxx. All right. Now it's time for the clothes. So 
So this came from Talbot's Haven collection. And guys, it is so soft and comfortable. Now I bought this for just a house dress, you know, for casual everyday wear. It has like a nice little uh, cow neck that you can pull as a drawstring and make it like a turtleneck. And it's 100% cotton. And you guys know how I love my natural fibers. So I was thinking of just wearing it around the house, but then I had an appointment and I wore this out. I got so many compliments. So I'm going to be rocking it. I wore it um, with my ivory color boots. My uh, Those are my faves. I love those that I bought last year. And uh, then I put on my uh, ivory color fedora and carried that little ivory handbag. Hold on, I'll show you how that. <laughs> uh-huh what do you think i felt so cute in this outfit and got so many compliments that ivory is just perfect with this um it's very comfortable it's 100 percent cotton and i will wear it you know just around the house to knock around but hey this was perfect for that day because it was a little bit crisp and this ivory handbag is perfect i wore it with gold accessories and it was cute cute now if you want um casual it down a little bit you can just take the boots off and the hat off and just pop it on with some sneakers i got these real cute chunky ones and on a day that i just want to you know run to the store or run some errands right quick i will definitely pop on a cap and my little uh sling bag my sneakers and be out the door now <laughs> you know how those young uh, girls do the poses with um, the legs all crossed over I can do it I'll probably fall flat on my face but I can give it a little shot for you <laughs> there you go <laughs> anyway this is a really comfortable dress I'll link it below even though I think it's probably sold out and if you notice, you can, you don't have to wear it to this extreme, like I did with the hat and boots, but you can just put on your sneakers and, you know, a baseball cap, the sling bag, be on your way. So I know that this probably is not available because I think I bought it like for my birthday in July and it was on final sale then. I'll put it down below in case they have something similar. This is from Talbot's Haven Collection and they're like, you know, more loungewear pieces. So, what's next? <laughs> okay, I found this pair of pants at Talbot's online, and they're just a boot cut, um, kind of a cotton twill. They're cotton, but you know what? I don't know if you guys remember what I told you or not. They're navy blue. I didn't have any navy blue pants. We're not going to talk about the problem that I have. We already know. We already know. And I feel it every time I talk about it. I have a problem. But anyway, remember I told you Talbot's uses, I guess, the same color dye in their, um, their fabrics or whatever because it doesn't matter when you purchase something. I have a blazer that I remembered in this blue and when it comes back from the cleaner we're going to try it on and i'm going to show you that it's a suit i wasn't even thinking about that when i got it but then um you know when it came in and it said it was indigo blue the light bulb went off i'm gonna have a suit these are perfect and see i can put these on with a sweater or whatever now and they're it's going to be fine all the way up to probably december so I got those from Talbot's. This is the problem is what happened. They sent me a $20 gift check. Now you knew I had to spend it, right? I had to. <laughs> Where's the top? This is what I bought also. Now, I haven't worn this yet either, but you know how I am about my natural fibers. This is silk guys oh it is so pretty i cannot wait to wear this i think i'm gonna wear it to lunch because i'm going out with a friend and you know what is so funny i have run into about 
four people from the school that I worked at. Um, one was a student. I should have taken a picture. She is as cute as can be in her 20s now. Told her she made me feel so old. And then uh, two, two teachers I ran into unexpectedly. One was in Home Depot and one was in, where were you, Catherine? Uh, Home Goods. <laughs> And then Caressa, you guys have met Caressa before. She and I are going to go out to lunch next week. So it should be a, a packed, a, a fun packed week, I think is what. Don't pay me any mind. I hear myself going on and on. But anyway, I knew that I was going to love this because you guys have already seen it before. I own it in this color. This top was $99, so 100 bucks. I got this on final sale for 30 bucks. It's silk. It is so pretty. I love it. I'm good. What I thought I would do, I'm probably going to put it with these. You know, I told you how I love my towel dressing. I got these from Lane Bryant some time ago. And I'm going to do a tonal outfit. Isn't that pretty? And I'm going to carry the, uh, the little handbag that I got and then put some gold accessories. Won't that be cute? I'm thinking I even have gold booties. So like the cream and gold thing will be going on. But anyway, this had been $99. They marked it to $30. And I had my $20 gift check. You knew I had to get it. Now, I probably didn't have to add the pants, but I did. It's all good. Okay. And you know what I just thought about? Wouldn't that be so pretty with the ivory, the navy, and then the tweed bag? You see how when you have basics and basic colors, you can mix and match. This could actually be a capsule. All right, so next, let's do cargoes. I told you, I warned you ahead of time it was going to take a minute. Okay, so... I <laughs> did it this way. Remember I told you guys I was going to stop shopping the picture? Well, I pretty much have done that, but now I'm shopping the influencers, other YouTubers. So I have a pair of shoes. I'll have to run and get those. They're in my bedroom. Senior Citizen, no, wasn't Sue's channel. Sheila, my friend Sheila from Inside Beauty with the Old Girl had on a cute, cute, cute pair of kind of cowgirl inspired mules. Now, I knew I shouldn't get those shoes, but I wanted them. They are so cute. They're a little bit eh, on my back, but I'm going to wear them just if I don't have to walk any distance because they're like about a two and a half inch heel and you know, I've Cutting mine down to like an inch. So I'll show them to you in a second. But they're like a cream color. And they have like a little silver uh, toe tap. <gasps> Cute. Okay. These I saw on Cass Styles' channel. You have to go check her out. She is so pretty. And she, you talking about stylish? Oh my goodness. But anyway, she was showing a Target haul, and I have never purchased, uh, I think I purchased that one dress. Remember, it was like a cutout dress, and then I took it back. But I purchased these cargoes. <gasps> they are so cute. Hold on, I'll bring them closer. I am so into these cargoes and painter pants and stuff now. But I love these because they are trimmed in dark brown so i thought either with a, a dark brown shirt i have like a, a faux leather shirt that's gonna be so cute with my uh chocolate brown handbag oh <gasps> cute do i have dark brown shit i do i have dark brown shoes <laughs> but anyway these are by wild fable and i've never tried this brand but I'm going to have to keep them because I have already washed them <laughs> and ironed them. You guys know when I get my stuff, I go ahead and wash them because I don't want to break out. 
in a rash. So we'll try those on in a minute. Next, another pair of cargos. I saw these, uh, I don't know what, why I was on Macy's site, looking for something. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, these are by Celebrity Pink, another Junior Plus brand. So I'm hoping that those get too. But I love that olive color. And then they have like the little pockets. Now, ladies, I know that a lot of people don't want to wear cargo because you don't want to accentuate the hip area. But if you get the cargo pocket so that it's lower down, you don't have to really worry about that. Because I carry a good portion of my weight in the tummy area. I like a little extra down here because it takes the focus off from the middle. If I can accentuate shoulders and legs, then it takes away from there. <laughs> okay, now, this next pair of cargos, oh my goodness, I could not believe the brand. Because I have seen this brand on so many, you all see I'm just like being swallowed by clothes now. So many of your channels that do uh, unboxings, these are by Sanctuary. <laughs> they retail for $119. So if you don't like like a, you know, a jean type of fabric or cotton, these are more like a dress pant. Aren't those cute? Let me turn the cargo part around. I don't know if you can see that if the camera's washing it out. But these are more of a dressy kind of fabric. They are perfect. I'm wondering if they're going to be real long. We'll know when I try them on, won't we? <laughs> but I found these at Belk. I'll put them down below. I don't know if you can still get them or not. Okay. What's next? <laughs> oh. I keep looking at all of these beautiful ladies and with these crop. Uh, boucle jackets and I wanted one. I can't find one in a plus size. What I really want is like a cardigan. I've seen so many in like a dark navy cardigan with gold buttons and hardware. I found one on Talbot's by the time I went and clicked it because you know I have to wait a little while till they start marking them down. I'm not paying $200 for one. Everyone is gone. Every one except I think maybe like an extra small. I was like what? <laughs> that many people have purchased them already? Anyway, I guess I won't be getting that dark navy one unless some of you can tell me where a uh, plus size one uh, might be. But I found this one on Walmart site of all places. It's Eloquy Elements. Less than 30 bucks, guys. Isn't that cute? It's a pretty boucle fabric has gold hardware. It's like a, a champagne gold. It's like a little, yeah, it's real light. But I love it. And it's going to go cute with my ivory pieces. Then, I can't believe this. You don't really realize how much stuff you've purchased until you start, like, showing it. Okay, so the next is this tweed. I found this beautiful tweed blazer with hardware. It's navy and white on Shein for less than 35 bucks. So I'm hoping that it fits. Their sizes are a little wonky sometimes, but I love it and um, I know, I already know, but you know what? Unless you are going to go nude or either sew your own clothing and even at that, are you going to make your own fabric? Because fabric comes from China, too. <laughs> and so, it is what it is. I mean, you know, like 97% of our goods are from China factories. So, I'm good with it. So, some of you are offended because I got a Shein piece. Oh, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, that is so cute. I love it. Hope it fits. Now, you all remember that midi skirt that I got from Eloquy Elements. Um, it's okay, 
but it kind of loses its shape a little bit as you wear it during the day. So I saw this one on JCPenney's site. Now, I, I'm loving it because it's more narrow. Have you seen the ladies wear, like, where they look like a straight pencil skirt? That was the look I was going for. Actually, I know I said don't shop the picture. This is what I'm going for. <laughs> I love how she looks. So, classic, elegant, with a little bit of sass. Isn't that beautiful? And think about it. You know, we all have like a high collared uh, top, a black blazer, black boots. I have those black boots that I've never worn. So, we're going to hook that look up. But anyway, I knew when it looked like a midi on the model, on pennies, it was going to be like a maxi length on me. And I'm good with it. It's okay. It's okay. But I think that this one, they had it on sale. And I think I got it for like 30 bucks. And I really don't think that they have any more of that. But I'll still put it down below. Okay. We're getting near the end. <laughs> We're getting near the end, I promise. Let's go and pull out this other skirt. I had been seeing black wool maxi skirts. Now, of course, you know, I couldn't do the wool thing because, you know, I'll break out. So I saw this one with the black slit on Woman Within, and I got it. I absolutely love it. You can still take off those jeans and uh, the braids in the maxi skirt, the denim maxi skirt, put this on with a denim top or a denim bl uh, blazer. So cute. This is going to be perfect. And I am definitely going to be wearing it with boots. Remember, I have to wear my boots now. And two, I have to correct something because I kind of fibbed a little bit, but it wasn't intentional. The pair of boots that I showed you when I was doing the little boot hack, um, those had been worn once because I remember <laughs> I wore them the day that I went to meet Ella because I had that black skirt on. But the other two pairs never been worn. So I'm definitely going to wear my boots. Okay. So, okay, next. The day that I ran into TJ Maxx, I'm trying to think what I went in. I think I was looking for some florals for the table. But I saw this really pretty kind of dolman batwing uh, sweater. And you guys know that that is definitely my style. I love it. And I saw it and it was only like $19.99. And... I got two dollars off of that because of course you know it was senior day so that's gonna be so cute and you know I love them for some reason you guys know I love color I still love it but I'm into like neutrals and tonal dressing so like if I wear this I'm probably gonna either wear probably like jeans and then my gray shoes my gray handbag <gasps> And I even have a gray hat now. Hold on, I'll show you. Tanya gave it to me for my birthday. Tanya and Tasia. And hold on, because it has a special little um, seasonal, trendy color attached to it. Hold on. Be right back. All right, I'm back. Can you see that cute, cute gray sweater? Denim jeans, my gray shoes, gray handbag, and my gray hat. Let me show you. Isn't it pretty? It's a fedora, but it has a little pop to it. <laughs> Isn't that adorable? Red is my favorite color, so they gave me this when I went home um, for my B-Day. I don't want to squash my hair, but isn't that going to be cute, cute, cute? <gasps> if you guys want to see me do a video on tonal dressing, let me know. All right, so that I found in TJ Maxx. Now, one day when I was in, where was I? Dillard's Clearance Center. <laughs> you guys told me I needed to get out more. So, you see what happens when I get out. It's your fault. All right, so I saw this beautiful kind of a silky, I'm into like the 
the silky satin fabrics. Now I know that this is not silk, but oh my gosh, it feels luxurious, just like silk. It's by Calvin Klein. $94.50. I paid less than less than 30 bucks. It's $29.97. I had to get it. Isn't that pretty? It's kind of like a, a wrap style, but it's already um, attached to it. It has like a little safety snap. Oh, so pretty. So pretty. I love it. Alright, we're getting towards the end. Okay. Couple more things. When I went to Lane Bryant some time ago, you know, the more you purchase, then they give you these reward dollars. Lane Bryant is just evil. That I'm coming to that conclusion because they know I can't resist. Look at what they sent to me. So you know I had to purchase something. I found this really cute maxi dress. It's striped. Now it comes across as like maybe navy, but it's black and uh, camel. Isn't that gorgeous? That's gonna be so cute. And um, I have a pair of boots, like cowgirl inspired boots coming in that kind of camel color. If they do come in, I'll just pop them on the screen and show you because it's supposed to be in any day now. Then, I saw this online. Oh, that's going to be cute with my uh, tweed. This is a cashmere sweater, guys. Uh, I had to try it on because, you know, me and wool. <laughs> This does not itch at all. Remember I told you, I'm good with bougie wool. <laughs> this is by Vince. <gasps> when I saw it, I just knew I had to have it. It was an on, it's online. You can only get it online because I noticed that some people said that they have, um, what is it, the runway or something in their TJ Maxx's, especially like in California. I watch another YouTuber, Melissa Goodwin. I'll try to remember to put her down below, but she does all of these TJ Maxx um, visits showing you all these really high priced items for less in TJ Maxx, but that's in California. I don't see the runway here. You guys let me know if you have it in your area. But anyway, this Vince sweater, feels so amazing. I'm going to wear this with jeans. I'm going to wear it with some, oh, see? Remember I told you guys this could actually be a capsule. Could do tall dressing, navy on navy with those navy pants. But that is so pretty. And I have some navy and gold jewelry. It's going to be so cute. This feels so good. Alright, then here was the coat that Sue spoke about. This thing is heavy. <laughs> this is the denim trench coat. And you guys know trench coats are all the rage. Denim is all the rage. So this is going to come in handy when it gets cold enough. And then last but not least, Shirley, the jeans came in. And I love them. I've already washed and worn them. They fit. <laughs> These are by a company called Seven, and I used to always wear Seven jeans. And then, I don't know, I just stopped and I went more like to Lane Bryant. Well, actually, Lane Bryant carries them now, too. But these are perfect wide bay pants. So what I thought that I would do, since this is going to be so lengthy, Shirley, I'm just going to put these into like a sassy Saturday. Shirley asked me to show ways to style and sass up wide bay jeans. So we're going to take these jeans and we'll sass them up. <clears throat> excuse me, during a sassy Saturday with Linda. So look for that to happen. I think that's everything. <laughs> I think it's everything. Seems like I'm missing something, but I think that that's it. Whew. You all asked for it. You just had to ask for it. What I will do is if 
I'll look back over the footage. If it isn't too lengthy, I may put a few of these pieces on um, as a little, you know, side thing so you can actually see them. Because a lot of these, as you can see, had the tags on. I haven't even tried them. But that's the good thing about when you buy certain brands. You know they're going to fit because you buy from those, like my Talbots, Lane Bryant, all of those. I know that they're going to fit. I've already tried the vents on, so I know it's going to fit too. Oh, it did fit. I've already tried it. So, guys, give me a minute. Catch my breath. Try on a few things, and I'll be right back. Okay, so first up, this really pretty denim trench coat you're seeing them everywhere now and i will probably even wear this one um like a denim on denim look one day but i just happened to be out and i had on those super wide leg uh pants that i got from west virginia remember they were about six inches too long well she has already hemmed them and they're they're pretty good i do need to put a little bit of a higher heel on but i do like the exaggerated leg and there is that other pretty silk uh wrap pop that was such a cute outfit that day. All right, so next up, kept on those same pants and I'm just showing you the gray sweater that I found from TJ Maxx for like $19.99. And I think I even got a little discount because it was senior day, but I love a dolman sleeve. I even have some jewelry that's gray and cream. So, hmm, that might be something to try next. Whoops, hold on, editing Linda here. I thought, let me just stop for a moment. Yep, 58 degrees today. We have to take advantage of it when we can. I thought, since this might be a good little stopping point for you, go ahead, refresh your beverage, because it's taking a while, isn't it? I thought, since I had the gold earrings from Nordstrom Rack, and they're kind of a trendy little piece, I thought maybe one of you might like to be a twinsy with me. So, if you'd like to win the silver pair, please, down in the comments, just leave me a little message and say, um, pair earrings, and then I'll know you're interested. Uh, 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 you have to be subscribed first, you have to be over 18, or 18 or over, and uh, leave me a little comment. Don't forget to thumbs up the video. Continue. Now, where were we? <laughs> This is that maxi dress from Lane Bryant with the um, black with the camel stripes. Now, sometimes I'm probably going to wear it with my black boots, but today I had to run some errands. So I put on my two-tone shoes because those flats are so popular now. These are from Aerosol, and they're very comfortable. Um, I just put a little slouch bag with it, and this is another cute little outfit. Next, there's that inspiration picture look. I just put the maxi uh, denim skirt with a blazer and a black uh, kind of mock neck turtleneck. There's the black boots. Yep, I'm pulling them out this year. The only thing about this skirt, I really wish it was a little bit more pencil-like. There's a lot of fabric in the back. See that? I wonder if I could have that taken up a little bit. <laughs> Never satisfied, am I? But anyway, I like this whole look with the black on top, black boots, sandwiched in between the denim maxi skirt. Just put on some fun gold jewelry, had that black purse with the chain, and it's a look. All right, I just kept the maxi skirt on, and I put on the um, tweed blazer from Shein. I love it. It's so pretty and it's very Chanel-esque. It fits nicely and it's a pretty good length. I love all of the um, the fringe that's like around the lapels and the neckline. It's very pretty and those silver buttons are just perfect. Tell me what you think. Do you like tweed? Okay, still with the same skirt on. I just threw on the vent sweater to show you. Yep, it's a bit much this time of year because during the day, we're still up in the 80s. 
<laughs> it really won't cool off until like December, but I love this. I love the sleeves. I just cuffed them up because they're actually about a good four or five inches in length. It's a long cuff. Love it. And I'm just going to probably wear this with um, jeans and put on that navy and gold jewelry that I told you about. So look. All right, here's the little lady jacket that I was telling you all about. And just ignore the bottom half. I had that kind of satin skirt on. And then I just threw my boots on so that I would have something <laughs> below to show you. But basically, I just wanted you to see the jacket. I love these. This is going to be one that's perfect. I'll probably end up putting on like those little um, headband, head ties to kind of zhuzh the sleeves up. Yep, short people problems. The sleeves are always too long. But I love those gold buttons. Love the two pockets. It's a look. Now, I put these two on together, even though I probably won't wear them together. When I wear this um, gray satin-like top, I'm going to probably actually wear it with jeans or either like um, my ivory pencil skirt that's very narrow because the length of it kind of cuts me off. So you need something a little bit more structured at the bottom. But anyway, this is not styling. It's just showing you the pieces. And then that maxi skirt, it's kind of in between a midi and a maxi, but I love it. All right, tell me what you think about those two. I love wearing slingback shoes, and I found these during Prime Day. So I'm thinking you all might be interested too. It's like a little half footy, so that you're covered in the front part of your foot, but yet and still, the back is exposed when you wear your slingbacks. Oh, those are by Franco Sardo, by the way. Love those shoes. All right, next, here's the showstopper, Shirley. Those fabulous wide leg jeans. I love them. They fit perfectly. I've already worn them. They're great. I don't even have to have them hemmed, I don't think. I have to look at the hem length again, but they feel great. I put it on with this um, Talbot's faux leather blazer. They have back pockets. And they're perfect. I just put them on with a um, little cami top. But more than likely, the way that I really wear it, I untuck that cami. And I like wearing mine out because if you have any kind of weight in the stomach area, that just kind of helps to conceal everything. Okay. These heels are maybe about two inches tall. So I probably might have to have those jeans hemmed. Yeah, because even with the two inch heel on, they still seem like they're a little bit long. You guys tell me what you think. I love this blazer too. That's absolutely perfect with this look. You can also wear it with black booties. That'll be cute. All right, and here's one of my favorites. I, you know I'm all about the tonal dressing now. So I have that beautiful cream or ivory silk top. And then I put it on with my uh, cream wide leg trousers from Lane Bryant. Lane Bryant has finally gotten on board. <laughs> they are now making a short version of their pants. So I put this on with real pretty... Um, pearls and then with some earrings with the pearl drop and my gold bracelet kind of picked up the gold in the uh, handbag and I love all right so here are those cargo pants from Target actually they're wild fable I love the dark brown stitching on them so I put it on to just show you how it looks with chocolate brown this is a um a chocolate brown shirt that I got from Jessica London that zipper hits right below the hip area if you notice and so it doesn't give you any kind of bulk plus the pockets are flat and I love them they uh, have like a little flap pocket in the back too but it lays flat and smooth so you don't have to worry about any bunching back there and I just put it on with um, those mules that I uh, saw Sheila had that you know I had to have to. <laughs> Perfect. All 
Okay, so here are those sanctuary pants. And yeah, they're definitely going to need to be hemmed. I don't know. I, I just can't win. They're always going to be at least two or three inches in length unless you can find a short or petite somewhere. But I do love them. They're very slinky uh, and I think slenderizing. The pockets are not, uh, the cargo pockets are not too much. You could actually wear these to work, you know, depending on, you know, if you work in an office environment. I don't think that they would be offensive because you could either wear it like this with a sweater or even put a blazer on with them. I think they're great. They're very um, more trouser-like. They, they're not like a stiff cotton or denim. So this is a different look if you're looking for cargos. Love that sweater with it too, super soft. All right, and the last pair of cargos were those from Celebrity Pink that I found at Macy's. I love the olive green, put it with that little uh, olive green sling bag, and they're great. The cargo part is low too, not like, you know, adding any kind of weight or bulk to the hip area. Now, I would probably wear these more so with a, a t-shirt or even like my, I have a camo jacket hmm, that would probably look cute with that. Hold on, let me go put the camo jacket on and let's take a look at how that pairs with these. Hmm. All right, so what do you think? I kind of like it with the, uh, with the camo uh, jacket and also I would probably wear it with the denim jacket too. You can wear it with a white button-up shirt, um, a jacket, or just by itself with a cute uh, sweater. I love those cargos too. If you take note, those pockets are low enough and the flap is not bulky at all. This is the kind of cargo um, that you want. All right, so tell me what you thought about everything. Aren't these some really pretty pieces that I found? And guys, you know I, I'm a bargain hunter. I'm a bargain shopper. I don't believe in, you don't have to break the bank to look good, right? <laughs> so, thanks for coming by and hanging out with me. If you are not a subscriber, please consider hitting that subscribe button before you go. I would appreciate it. I'm trying to think there was something that I needed to say, but... I guess that's pretty much it. Let me know what you thought about everything. And I am truly serious this time. This is my fall, winter look. Really. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with me. Make sure you're staying safe and healthy out there. But definitely, don't forget, no matter how old you are, how young you are, you don't have to go around looking like, Oh, I don't have anything to wear. Let me just throw on some old daddy. Mm -mm. Make sure you keep it sassy, and I'll see you soon.